welcome to part 89 of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Oh, and before we have a false start, I was trying to get some magic. Anyway, this is it. We get to take on our third Esper of the game, Zalera. And just to let you know, folks, this match is pretty special. It is one of the, I do believe, second of many stipulations you'll be running into in the... Actually, it's one of the second Battle Zap stipulations. But the good news is, this is the only time you will encounter this stipulation. And if I can ever just keep going... Wait, yeah, we're keeping going. So, without further ado, it's time for us to fight Zalera the Death Seraph. This is gonna be fun. Here we go again, the Esper music. That means something epic's about to happen. Okay, notice in the right hand corner of your screen right below your map, you have five minutes to beat Zalera. If you don't beat Zalera, you and your party, despite how healthy you are, will be transported back to the save point. Also keep in mind one thing, Zalera is a zombie. So, healing spells, except for Renew and Reverse, well, I mean, Renew and Elixir, will actually hurt him. But also, there's some other things he does to try to screw you over. If you're on the verge of leveling, well, other than use Kill, make sure you've got Shell as a status boost, Otherwise, it'll kill you instantly, 100%. He'll also summon dead bones to fight you. And if you're on the verge of leveling, that could be serious bad news if you're in an odd number leveling up. Especially for the attack that's waiting for you when he's at last stand. I don't have a Phoenix Netsuki, so... Or a Fessence and Suki, sorry. So items won't be doing as much as they were supposed to do. But at least we're holding our own against him. He's gonna start becoming a little more of a pest later on, though. Well, at least we got him down to half. That's a good thing. But keep in mind, Solera is one of the easiest espers in the game. And level 38 is the up there is the deaths. Level 38 is the minimum that you want to fight this guy. The maximum? Anywhere past 30. 8. Because he'll be too easy then. He only has got 40 HP. And he kills both there before I can use a quickening. Which means it won't do him that much. I wanted to try to end this so that we could beat him, but he killed both there, so I couldn't do it. And that's where things get completely out of control. Nah, his death just came faster than my quickenings. It wasn't a mistake. And now that we don't have shell, or... Yeah, now we don't have shell, we're all gonna start chopping like flies. And that's the last thing any one of us needs.
Yeah, this is really starting to get tense here, folks. Yep, he's killing us. Oh, god damn it. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to get something to eat. Anyway. He's pretty much going to town. With the kill. But it's all cool. He's still the easiest Esper in the game. And me, I'm looking at the clock like, oh shit, time's running closer and closer out. You'd have thought after, um, Yeast Mat, I'd have learned my lesson about Shell, but no, no, I don't. But there's another thing he's going to do, even when, even if he's on his last leg, well, even if he's not on his last leg, when time is about to expire, he'll fire kill. And he'll fire death. And Starfire level magic spells. And if you happen to fall under that level, you will be affected by those spells. Ah, uh, damn it. This may take a while. Well, it shouldn't take a while, otherwise I'm screwed. Oh, sorry about that. Damn it, stop killing my characters! Fucking arsehole! Not great. He had on shell! It should have been 50% Gambit! But no! He's just going on a killing spree! But nonetheless, he's about to die and... It's really cutting close. It is really cutting close. We're almost reaching a minute and thirty. And God damn it. Oh, and here's the reason why I didn't want to I had one team at a higher level and one team at a lower level. This particular move. If any one of your characters are in a prime number, they automatically die. Period. This only happens when he's in last stand mode. He'll start firing that frequently so long as time is still available. If not, he'll just start spamming magics. Like death. Sorry, Bolfair. I had to sacrifice you, man. But it won't be in vain. No, because it's time to unleash hell! This is for both there, motherfucker! ROAR! Oh wait, I'm not done yet. Taste the rainbow, motherfucker! Yeah, three of these in a row, I pretty much got him. Oh, shit. 
I definitely got him. No good will definitely come of this as far as Zolaris is concerned. Me, I was trying to go for a white hole. Or a black hole. But instead, what I got was... The Slushy of Death! It's vanilla flavored, motherfucker! And with that, Solera is dead. And not a moment too soon, or else I would have had to start this fight all over again. Three down, ten more to go. And here's a little added bonus. Because you obtain Zolera, whoever controls them, they can summon Zolera whenever they want. However, it's best to summon Zolera when enemies that aren't immune to death and aren't boss type characters are 30% below their health. That way Zolera can kill off a large area of enemies by using, I forgot what that was, but he'll use his quickening and even if that enemy just happens to be in a vicinity with full health, they'll die right along with the other enemies. So with that said, Solaris a pretty decent ability. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys something. No, not that gate. It's this here. At the end of the tunnel, you're gonna find this hilarious. is Garum Seath Waterway. That's right. It is Garum Seath Waterway and the water is lowered. So I can pretty much try to find Quachelin if I wanted to, but unfortunately I do not because I don't have the means to beat him. Yeah, that's right folks. You can actually, after Zolera, you can actually go to Quachelin without having to do that stupid Sluis Key puzzle. Isn't that awesome? But I don't have the means to beat him, because I need Kiraja, because Kira's not going to cut it. I'm going to die very quickly. Oh, and another thing you need to do. Make sure the area where the Esper is, you have the licenses for. See, like, Zolera is right in the areas with rods. Make sure you have that area access to so you can actually get to Zolera unlike I do. That's another reason why you want to fill up your license board before you go after Aeons. I mean, Espers. Why did I say Aeons? I must want to play Final Fantasy X so badly. You fill up your license board, it'll be easier for you to get Espers. And you can just pick them. You just pick whoever you need to, whoever you want to give it to. So long as it doesn't exceed over the limit. Anyway. This is RVMan985. And yes, that save file with Ritterator Cataracts still haunts me to this day. I will see you guys when I go to Damasca Esterson to collect the reward for Bloodwing. Peace out everybody!